Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4. We left off last episode just kind of building things up, uh, thinking about going to war with the Allies. Everything's pretty much stalled between the Allies and the Axis, so I'm thinking that I can uh, potentially do some damage. I would really love to have some nice bombers um, built up, but I'm not sure if that's going to take a long time. Well... I'll have some basic bombers built up. Because as soon as this pops off, I can start getting the production lines going. Eh, that, that'll help a little bit. That'll help a little bit. Got to address some of the uh, the comments from the comments section. Um, but I, like I said, most of... Mo like, the vast, vast majority of people are just like, Yes! You're playing a game I like to watch again. Woo! Which I appreciate. I'm glad you guys enjoy. Very glad you guys enjoy. Pardon me while I drink from my water bottle. I'm definitely going to change these lines up because I got this army to work with and I've got another one about to pop off. So we'll just let this guy get all the way up. And we're building up huge reserves. Huge reserves, uh, huge stockpiles of weapons. Things like that. Lots of fighters sitting around. I'm a little su uh, uh, surprised that I didn't capture more foreign equipment. Very surprised at that, in fact. And I haven't actually done the... You know what? I haven't even looked at it yet. The conversion thing. How do you even do that? I don't even know. I, I'm not even sure how the UI works for that. Or if maybe I'm just not seeing it because I don't have anything eligible. Probably because I don't have anything eligible. Because I didn't bother researching any of the, the funky stuff. Any of the, like the self-propelled guns or anything like that. I'm, I'm bothered with it, so... It's not efficient. They're not efficient. That's why I don't ever bother with them, just because straight-up infantry divisions are more efficient. But we're kind of past that point. We're just building, you know, army after army of just straight-up infantry divisions, which is getting a little boring. So maybe we'll do that stuff just for, just for shits and grins. Got those radar installations built. And then now we're building up the roads. Building up the roads just because... Uh, I don't have much else to do. I could build more factories and stuff like that. Eh, that's not a bad idea. I can definitely build more factories. Not really doing much. Just tell them, just tell them to build factories. All over the place. Just factory, factory, factory. You know what? Let's uh let's just do this too. Boom 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 boom. Fact, uh, roads on the front lines, because roads, just max that out. And we can do it down here too, just for, again, shits and grins. These guys are not really doing, these, uh, civilian factories aren't doing much. I can convert some over to military factories. I mean... Nah, I kind of like having a large quantity of civilian factories doing stuff. Yeah, I like that. I like having them sitting around building things. So that's what we'll do. We'll just let them... We'll just let them do that. So we've got... How, what is our total efficiency? We've got 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So that's 50... So 60 minus, so we're at 30%. 30% increase over base. So we're going to get advanced fire base done soon. We're going to get this popped off. And then we'll start, we'll just start building some of these, even though they're, they're really like old models. We'll just start doing it just for the efficiency. 
And just to get something in the field. This is almost done. Oh, you know what? These guys are done. I kind of wish that little button on there was a toggle as well. Just a UI. Just quality of life UI stuff. Uh, Alright, advanced fire base done. Let's keep going down here. Next thing is shock and awe. Straight up do that. And this is kind of what I'm waiting on right now. I'll pro I don't think I'll blow my air experience on it. What I'll probably do is wait till I get one of the nicer models. Maybe the nicer fighters. Or the nicer bombers. But, you know, as soon as I declare war, the air, uh, the air should light back up. Yeah, really, really bad frame rate. It's dropping down below 10 right now. It's got to be hard to watch. Although, it's, we're just sitting here on the map, so... Not like there's much else to see. It's not It's not like I'm playing Total War with a frame rate that bad. Alright, so we'll just do this guy. And then what we'll do is we'll go to Production, and we'll say, Hey, we don't need two lines draw, uh, making these anymore. So we'll change this out. Wait, what? Do I just have to delete it? Oh, I can't just swap it out for another. So I have to close it, or delete it. It's a shame to lose all that efficiency. I thought it would remain... Okay, whatever. Strategic bomber. And then we'll go like this, and then we'll go boop! Uh, boop! There we go. And then we'll just redo that. That would be nice too, is if when you moved it up the list, it it, it would dynamically sw uh, change the the factory, so you don't have to do that little step again. Nothing, in nothing big. Quality of life. Quality of life stuff is nice. I just wish that they would be a little bit more Johnny on the spot with the quality of life stuff. You know, a year a year into the game, I feel like we should ha we should have a lot more uh, progress being made in the development of the game. All right, so you guys are all done. Let's just have you go like hang out over here for now. So you're not standing in the mountains. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. And then we'll have them train up. And I'll probably uh, assign them to a different section of the front. Uh, to a section of the front. Yeah, this is hard to... to you know, maybe knocking down the graphics... Let's see. Reflections, weather, 3D trees. Full rendering resolution. Apply. Oh, God. Yeah, there you go. Now it's at 60. Well, when it was paused. Still a little bit better. A little more hard to look at, though. Look at that. Just seems blurry. That's eh, a little bit... Just a little bit. Let's see which. Here, let's just turn this crap off. And which one is which one of those is gonna make the map not look blurry? Which I think would probably be that. Yeah. We'll just turn everything else off. Just so that we can play at a better frame rate. It's a little bit better. It's not a big deal, though. Frankly, I don't like the 3D unit models anyway. I prefer to play without them. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I know why. It's just because there's more happening in the game, late game, than there is early game. So that's that's why the frame rate tanks. So yeah, with very low efficiency, two per week. 
made a big dent on the the new weapons. And we could probably how many of these do we have stored up? 4000. Could probably get rid of that second run, start making more planes. Oof. So I got two strategic bombers. So these guys are going to start training. Yeah. It's a shame that the game has that much uh, frame drop at, at higher speeds. CK2 doesn't. I don't have that issue with. U4 I don't have that issue with. Heart Fire 3 I don't have that issue with. I think that there, there's got to be some bloat in there somewhere. That's really that's really jacking that up. Here, why don't we take off one of these and tell him to start working on more bombers? I know they're not very good. Again. Dynamic. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, I did that wrong because I gotta. Whoop! I gotta tell him to make those like that, and then whoop. Yeah, so they're building up the uh, the road network. Should we just should we just say fuck it and declare war? Here, you know what we're gonna do is we're going to go like we're gonna pause this. I'm going to tell this army say let's delete this section in this section and just make sure everybody's assigned to this and then we'll take this army and we'll assign them to oh so I could do that before but I can't do it now or did I do that in I must have done that individually yeah okay so that's what I did I must have done that individually and then let's say we'll take uh, half and assign them to there and, and then this army will just blah, 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 blah. Get this a little more. So why is this one split? That's 24. Maybe it's just because it's a wide section. Probably. Logistics are good. Very good. If I uh, modify this to, oh, I haven't, mo I haven't really modified. Oh no, that's the uh, the forty one, not the forty one A. So the forty one A got. Oh, that got pretty heavily modified. I mean, we could always just continue, but you know what? I, if I remember correctly, that would drop its liability down. Well, let's see. Where did I where did I leave off on tanks? 1941 was the last time I was uh, looking at tanks. Could uh, you know do this stuff if I wanted to, but we got again. We'd have to wait. Man, that is a hideous, hideous beast. Yeah, it's. Hard to make any uh, forward progress in waiting. The frame rate's so low. I don't know where the bloat is. If I knew, I wish. Well, I wish I knew. I kind of want to get the uh, the next run of fighters going before we start. I know they won't actually get onto the front lines, but I'd like to get them. I'd like to get them going. And did I pick retention? Yeah, I picked retention, so I shouldn't, shouldn't switch out any production lines until I get this. So let's give it a couple months. But then again, look how slow, even on speed 5, so slow. Oh my god, your bloat. Your bloat is, your bloat is bad and you should feel bad. It's like, I don't have the best computer, obviously. Um, I've never been able to spend, you know... You know, thousands of dollars on my computer, but uh, when I compare this to 
like U4 or CK2 or Hoi 3 or, you know, any you know, any of the par other Paradox titles, I don't have nearly this issue. There's definitely some process that is... I'm not sure. I'm, I'm looking at my... Well, you can't see my frame rate right now, but it, it goes to 30 or 40, and then it'll drop to 6. And it'll go to 30 or 40, and then it'll stay up there, and then it'll drop down to below 10. So there's some process in there that's really dragging the frame rate down. I'm not sure what it is. Actually thinking f speed 4 might be faster than speed 5, just because of processing, maybe. Yeah, I'm getting bored. And we can't we can't process fast right now. Hmm. What should we do, guys? What should we do? How's my infrastructure look? Uh, states, resistance. Resources. Huh, resource. Yeah, this is all evenly distributed now. Well, there's no infrastructure map mode, so the only way to actually look at your infrastructure is to go to here. So, 88887. 3 plus 7. A lot of 6s and 5s, but. Uh, the way it, it works is because these have multiple levels, is it'll finish one before we're going on to the next. That's not a big deal. It just means that, you know, everything will take longer on the whole, you know, to, to evenly distribute it. But I'm not too worried about this, because we're going to over... I'm more interested in this, because we're going to overrun all this area really fast once we declare war. Do we actually have a, uh... I declare war? Do I have a CB? I don't. Does it look like the Axis are pushing them back just a little bit in here? You know what I, I could do is I could assign this army to the France section of the line. This province right here. Wait, do those not touch? Or is this... Well, that's France, France. Because it sure looks like there's a crossing there, but it doesn't seem to want to let me actually put a front line there. Like it's... Ah, there we go. I got it. Perfect! Oh, uh... There we go. Yeah! That's concentration of force. Right there. Oh, shit. I just added... What the fuck did I do? No, not promote. Just... Uh, now I gotta delete that. And I must have had the wrong guy selected. There we go. There we go. Much better. I can actually knock this off. Knock that off. Don't need them. How are these looking? I got a couple of these guys out there. You know what? This needs to be arty. Uh, remove. Arty. Uh, 
recon. Support anti-air, support anti-tank. Save that. How these guys look. Light tanks, all the good stuff. And that's my MPs. Doing their MP thing. So yeah, there's gotta be a lot of people guarding that front. Ah, fuck you, France. So there are some troops in there. Ooh, modern submarines. Uh, are there any good doodles to doodle? Let's see. Factory repair speed, free repair, that's nice. Resistance down, army training. Destruction speed up. Do that. Air production. Huh. Now, I think we should maybe should we bother with this? Ah, fuck it. Let's just do construction. Man, these this border gore is causing issue with my with my battle lines. It'd be much easier if you could just draw through everybody without an issue. But you can't. Uh, we should probably actually give you guys uh, an order. Front line. Just tell them to attack. Oh, can't. Nope. Uh, wrong thing. Offensive line. Oh, offensive line. I got the right guy selected? What the fuck's going on here? Okay, now it's letting me? Just tell him to go kill poles. Oh, and I gotta sub a sap for separate. Right, 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 right. Okay. It's hideous! Uh, join the faction. Sorry. I don't actually want to be in your faction. I feel like I'm strong without you. So purple saying they, they, they're they weak. Oh, there's some poles up here, are there? Oh my. So we started uh, fabricating claims and the poles were like, ho, ho, hold your tits there, Ben. Should we, uh, train up more troops? Mm, everything's basically done in here. I don't really need more, more of that. Could do more air doctrine, strategic bombing, nighttime strategic bombing penalty. So this, statistically, is better than this. Because this would give you 50% for half the time, which, you know, so, you know, just roughly it would be about a 25% increase um, in efficiency overall. And this is a 30% increase in, in overall. Unless it doesn't apply at night, but who cares? Adunara. And these guys say that they're going to have a hard time with the poles, too? I don't believe you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that's that's mighty interesting. I actually started doing something, and, and the AI reacted. I will say they probably did... In, they, there are... I have noticed some improvements in the AI. More on a strategic level than a tactical level. Tactically, the AI is dumb as a bag of hammers. I'm just going to keep cranking out those fighters. Once we get the efficiency uh, retention of 20%, then we'll swap out to the new fight, new models of fighters, which are coming off the lines pretty soon. And we got the... We are building bombers. 
We got a lot of factories working on them. That's 30 factories. Well, minus 4, so 26. I don't really want to take it anything away from anything else, though. Having all the Soviet resources means that I'm I'm fine on this. Oh, you know, I would really love, 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 love uh, uh, an improved trade system. That would that would go a long way to uh, helping with a lot of things, really. Oh, um, how is your training? Is that no? It's this one. Oh, you're not training because I gave a move over. Okay, keep training. You're gonna have to kill some French bastards soon. Could uh, because let's see, which army is saying? Oh, they're saying really? Tw oh, I think you're just over overestimating the Polish. Uh, ability to fight here. I don't think it's really going to be that bad. And look how much the front's going to shrink once we overrun, uh, like, Transylvania here. That's Transylvania, right? North Transylvania. Thirty-six bombers have been produced. Got three thousand tanks sitting around, but look, there's our ones... Most of them are the T-41 Model A's. What's an A1 and... Oh, that's a BT-7. My bad. So, Russian, Russian, Russian... Like, captured Russian tanks. A lot of captured Russian tanks. A very... Wow! That... I didn't, I didn't really think about it until just now, when I was really looking at it. Mark 35... That means the AI made at least 35 different variants of this one type of tank. Which means its production, every single time it swapped, it was taking a production hit. Ooh, that's bad. That's that's a that's an AI issue that needs to be solved, I think. See, A1, A2, A1. See, seeing like one or two different models is fine, but 35 different models... I mean, every single time they they changed out the production lines, they're taking an efficiency hit there. Which is probably why the Russians always run... Well, the AI in general always runs out of equipment. It doesn't know how to uh, maintain its equipment levels. We're almost done here. God damn it, this is taking forever. I'm just crawling along. But what we're going to do is... Uh... Oh, I'm criticized. I just lost some uh, unity there. But we're going to attack the Polacks and 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 and, uh, and the allies in general just to kind of spice things up. Here, why don't we... Uh, should we actually build another army, though? So you guys say you're fine now. And you say you're going to have issues, which I don't believe. And you're fine, and you're fine. And... No, I see. I don't. I don't think I, I need another one. Why don't you guys have any inkling? Oh, that's um. Fuck. Fuck me. That is uh. MPs. That's why you don't have any inkling to what's going on because you're not fighting an enemy. That's a thing. The borders. The, the borders really are not moving that much, even with huge battles being fought. Huge, huge, huge battles. Very, very little movement on the front. So, uh, let's see. Some of these are on their last run of infrastructure. And then we're gonna... Uh, then it'll start moving down the line, basically. Nine, previous bottleneck, Moravia. That's this one, right? Serbia, well, state map mode. 
Moravia. Infrastructure level four. So it's telling me there's a bottleneck there. So do we just go to Moravia? If we can find it. Make sure that gets moved to the top. Because if that's a if that's a bottleneck, we'll wanna we'll, we'll wanna fix fix that. Alright. No biggie. Man, the frame rate is just getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It's so bad. Huh, I might need to try. God damn it, I don't think there's anything running in the background. I think it's just the, 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 like, late game bloat. And the fact that I'm trying to play on speed 5 just to pass the time, but, like, we barely got, like, two months past. You know what, let's, let's, let's give it two more days. Just so we can get the, the fighter fixed, or finished. I mean. That's a 1944 model fighter. Guatemala joined the Allies. Oh no! Not to the Guatemala. Alright, there's that. So, we can keep... Well, that that's already going. Everything's done on there. Land Doctrine's going. We can make better artillery pieces, of course. It's been a long time since we did that. More tanks. Um... I don't really, really need anything in here. I mean, this would make my mountain, the like, the four mountain divisions I have a little bit better. But I'm thinking maybe better arty. That should be fine. But, like I said, we're going to leave that, uh, oh yeah, the IRA 80. Here, uh, let's, let's do this first. There we go. Range and reliability. That's all you need. And then we'll swap this out after we get the retention uh, thing in like 20 months. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully next episode we'll get this started and we'll try to help the Axis by attacking the Allies. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see all of you next time. <laughs>